welcome back to the Driven by Daniel YouTube channel and welcome to another race recap video. Uh, today we are going over our fair race from the 17th of July. So I know it's been a little bit uh, since that race happened. Uh, it's my bad not getting this video out sooner, but um, figured before I go on this little trip I'm about to go on that you guys will see some video of uh, that I should get this video out. So yeah, let's just hop straight into our heat race. All right, so hopping straight into our heat race. We were starting P3 today um, outside or inside of the second row. Um, we're able to get around that 15 car really early on as he was really slow today. Uh, kind of weird considering he's been one that we've been trying to really stay in front of as he was the championship leader up until this night. Um, but once we get by that other car as well, we are chasing down our good rival, the number 16 car. Um, if you've seen any of my other uh, race recaps other than the Holyoke one and the other two Pueblo ones. You've seen this car before um, She seems like she's always Wherever we are always battling with us and is always good racing with her um, But yeah, so we were just trying to catch her um, I was also trying to test lines and everything see what the car was liking what it wasn't liking this was my first time back at this track since We got our fourth win on the season um, so I've had a few other nights I've had I think it was four more nights at other tracks um, that were larger in size so I was kind of adjusting back to driving this sort of track um, but I was able to get a really good gain there going into one and then we get about the same exit as her and then we dive down to the bottom again to see if we can make something work on her um, but yeah so this was first time back out here on the little short track uh, the little d-shaped track and the car was feeling really good once i actually got out there on track and everything uh it's like i never left never went anywhere else but then our first caution does come out we're starting single file behind the 16 car and then they get a really good jump and we try to get as much speed as we can going into one keep it high and then try to cut back a little bit but the track the grip just wasn't there for me to be able to do that it kind of just washed up a little bit um, we're kind of on her bumper here. We're going to try diving down to the bottom again, and then they're going to get a better run out of the top. Um, still really, really close, to, uh, pretty much almost within striking distance. Not within striking distance, but almost there. Uh, a little bit of dirt on the camera there, but we are still trying to get her. Uh, we go really high here into three, and then try to cut back down, and then that is the end of our heat race. So it was not heat race win number five in a row. So a second place back at our home track for the heat race. Um, I was honestly okay with that. Um, I feel like I would have had that 16 car within another lap or two um, without too much of an issue. But yeah, so being back at our home track was really nice and everything. Um, I was really enjoying the driving style again and everything. Like I said, I was working at those, working on just more experience and everything at those other tracks and those did help me a lot because I learned a little bit more about how the car will behave but yeah so second place um honestly it's all right sadly we didn't get our fifth heat race win in a row so now both of our streaks have ended at four races our feature win streak ended at four races and so did our heat race streak uh must mean something I guess um, but yeah, let's go hop straight into our feature race where we were starting outside pole. All right, hopping straight into our feature race here. Like I said, we were starting outside pole. Uh, that inside car there is the two car. We haven't seen him since our third race, I believe, on the season. I don't think we've seen him since. So it was cool seeing him out here again. Or no, we saw him that last time out at Pueblo, actually. Um, but yeah, so we get a decent start. He gets a better one. I try to cut down really early. Uh, forgetting that it was the first lap and we do get a piece of that 16 car um, Wasn't really anybody's fault. We talked after the race and everything. It was kind of just hard racing there uh, It was an over aggressive move by me But yeah, as you can see me and that 16 car going side by side uh, She gets a really bad run through that f first set of corners So I get out in front of her and get a little bit of a gap on her chasing down that two car again as you can see here um, But at this point in the night the track was a bit of a dry slick um, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't the best track I've been on. But we were chasing him down pretty quickly. Um, as you can see there, the one, two, three, it's that two car, it's me, and then that 16 car we've been battling with all day. Um, 
and then I am gonna be able to kind of start making some moves here uh, we get a little bit to his outside here as you can see um, and then I kind of try to duck right down underneath him and then he just tries to close that door way too late while I'm already there um, turns back down into me going into turn three and there's a bunch of contact coming through these corners here whole bunch of contact but I am able to clear him coming out of turn four diving back into one I try to block off the low line and then he comes through and doors me up out of the way um, just some good hard racing I thought um, but then I'm just kind of gonna muscle it around the outside of him I, I stay to the top uh, I keep up my momentum and he kind of loses it a little bit because he was running kind of middle of the track in the straights which is kind of weird to me at least on that front straight you should get all the way out to that wall but at this point I have gotten around that two car and I was just trying to be car be very cautious at this point try to not make any mistakes because I was kind of thinking if he got back up to me it may have been a repeat of what happened last time out at honor speedway where I kind of just get turned into that wall but as you can see here um, a lap later we have a decent amount of gap over him and the 16 car that we are always battling with but we are going to try to just make it through the rest of this race clean and tidy and hopefully not have any more issues as you can see that 16 car gets around that two car as well so the order changed to me the 16 car and then the two car um so honestly pretty happy with that i was able to pull a little bit of a gap over them too so i could start leaving them a little bit hopefully um, you can see I'm doing a whole lot of work on the steering wheel there, a whole lot more than I wanted. Um, that dry slick in the bottom of one and two was just so rough and so slippery that I just couldn't get the car to grip and turn. Um, but once we, once I figured out what I was doing, it was decent. Um, fast forward here to the last two laps of the race. You can see we're catching up to some lap traffic. Um, at this point, I knew there was only a few laps left, so I wasn't thinking I was going to catch up to him very quickly but then we get a really good run through three and four and I am catching up to them pretty fast so I get not worried but I'm trying to figure out okay how am I going to get around these cars but we did just take the white flag there so I was kind of just trying to keep my car together keep it through the corner no reason to pass these guys I'm pretty sure I still had a gap and I did um, I make a little bit of a mistake there you can see me correct it but we do not have to worry about passing them and we do take our fifth win in a row at El Paso County Raceway. So our feature win streak did die after um, our last race out at El Paso Raceway. We got that fourth win and then our first race out at Honor we wrecked. So sadly, our streak did come to an end there, but we technically still have won five in a row at our home track. So that feels really good. Um, but it was a nice like return to form pretty much, I thought, once we got out here and once I was able to put together a decent race again. Um, and it was nice being back out on our home track. Um, like I was saying that the banging and everything, it really wasn't anything crazy, I don't think. It was just some really hard racing. We kind of all talked it over afterwards, and it, it was just some hard racing, you know, um, going for everything. Um, I was a little bit more aggressive than I normally would have been, especially that early on, because they had shortened our race from 20 laps to 15 laps. So I knew that I had, to, I had less time to do what I needed to do. But in the end, it was all right, and I figured it out, and I was able to take home my sixth one of the year and my fifth feature win in a row at El Paso County Raceway. Um, as you can see, our trophies over here are getting a little bit <laughs> a little bit awesome. I can't lie. It's pretty cool coming into my room and seeing that every time I come in. But yeah, um, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Uh, that last video, you guys absolutely blew it out of the water. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure you guys do like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you want to see more of this stuff, there is a playlist linked in this video. And you can go to my channel and watch whatever other videos I have if you are interested in seeing what I'm doing. Um, I do want to do a quick shout out to my boy, Dylan. Um, happy birthday, bro. I hope it was good. But yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.